Zombie? Zombie? I, I think it's half a zombie. A, a zebra with no legs. Uh, it's still moving though. Krista, are you making this up? What is wrong with you? What kind of deranged animal would make up a zombie? Oh. <laughs> oh, about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Scheming Through the Zombie Apocalypse. I'm your host, the Bird, my name is Falcon. We are indeed back for more, and as a matter of fact, I think we'll just go ahead and do the entire thing, because honestly, I'm really enjoying this a lot, and you guys are as well, so it's perfect. Now, last episode, we had our very first survivor. Let's just say things didn't go too well for that guy. He was kind of like a guinea pig, literally, and <laughs> figuratively as well, right? And, well, things happened. But here today, we're at a bus station, and apparently we're looking to recruit more people. Which means probably more new voices as well for us here, so let's start it off here. The same is pretty cozy. Let's see if somebody's up for some scavenging. And if they know anything about the guild... Oh, just um, select somebody. Cool. Alright. So, we have three individuals to go by here. We have a, a pit bull. I think you might be a rat, a mouse, some sort of um, gerbil. And we have uh, a goat, maybe? Goat? Let's go with the, the goat. With this little punker jacket that, he's, that she, he or she's got on. I'm going to assume that's a she. It is a she, okay. Lovely day, isn't it, sweetheart? Excuse me? It's a lovely day. Yeah, it's just great. I love the landscape sprinkled with corpses. <laughs> and as long as they're not walking, that's quite an image. Eh, let's go with that one. Can I help you, Rabbit? Uh, we're looking for a strong, healthy individual to assist us with. Scavenging? Uh, remember, remember, the, the key words. We want gathering resources. What kind of resources? Valuable or useful? Valuable. Aha. Uh -huh. What kind of assistance are you talking about? We'll bring and guide you through. A scavenging location or a resource collecting place. That one. And we'll keep you safe from. Um, okay, what was it? Not not zombies. Not biters. Weirdos, right? Is that what we went with? I think it was weirdos. Who? Uh weirdos. What weirdos? <laughs> the weirdos, zombies, the crazy biting animals. Gramps, I have no idea what you're mumbling. The, the undead animals. Oh, zombies. Why don't you just say so? Well, nowadays, they're usually called weirdos. First time I've heard of this. I told you we should keep thinking about the name. Nah, weirdos is good. They will stick eventually. And when you come back, we'll split the loot. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, why not? Look, I'm trying to join the Scavengers Guild. Maybe you've heard of them? I'm not wasting my time and risking my life with you two losers. That's awesome, we are also hoping to... Just a second, Larry. Yeah, <laughs> uh, what he is saying is that... We're from... <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna lie to this person. We're from the Scavengers Guild, and we can totally help you out, or we're trying to become members. Well, let's give it a try. Seriously? Why don't you say so? Oh, I think we got it! We don't like to brag, or we thought you figured already. Oh, well, no. So you can help me join? Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if you heard. It's really hard to get in. Yeah, I did. But if you go scavenge with us, we will put you in a good word for you. Right. No, seriously. Where the mount gets you in eventually. Hmm, I guess. Plus, you have nothing to lose. We'll keep you safe from weirdos. Uh, okay. I'm considering this little venture of yours. Then you should consider that. You'll get some top-notch loot, or we'll just, um, fly through the place in and out in no time. I'm gonna go with that one. We know really good places. Yeah? I don't know. I really don't want to get stuck in some hellish building surrounded by zombies. No, 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 that, that won't happen. That's why we are here to guide you. 
Okay, I'll do it, but I want to keep 80% of the loot. What? 80%? Are you crazy? Take it or leave it, Gramps. 80%? Wowee, that's a lot. Uh, you know how dangerous it is out there, or you know you're safe with us. Uh, let's go with that one. Yeah, I guess it's safer this way. Fine, I'll do it for 70, but that is my last offer. Sure, it will do. Okay, let's do this thing. By the way, I'm Hank, and this is Larry. Okay. I'm Krista. Let's go, or we'll be back in a minute. Why is there an option? Oh. Okay, so... Oh, look at that, I can actually move around now. Ooh. Okay, um... Well, should we just go with her? Do we take more... I mean, last time... <clears throat> Let's be honest here, last time we could have probably used more than one person. But, um... Okay, let's let's go... You look very angry. I'm, I'm gonna go with the bulldog over here. Hello there! Uh, let's see, I gotta give a, a bulldog voice, huh? Uh, let's see here. Hiya! Are you here to throw some dice? Maybe. But we have a few questions first. Have you heard about the Scavengers Guild, or... Did anyone mention any guild communities around here? Let's go with the first one. Yes, I played a game of dice with a few guilders. Do you know where they are located? Nope. Any useful information you could give us? They're the terrible at gambling. You're a big help. Thanks. Well, how about taking a game, uh, a break and playing a game? Actually, we have a proposition for you. I'm listening. We're about to head out to a... Resource collecting site. Care to join us? No thanks, gentlemen. Are you sure? Uh, you can collect more items to gamble. Scavenging is always a gamble. Resource collecting is always a gamble. Uh, let's go with the first, this one right here. Sounds pretty good. I've got plenty, really. Alright then. So, do you want to try your luck in a simple dice game? Hmm. Well, do we even have any items for trade or for gambling? Sure, what the hell? Sure, but tell me the rules first. Yeah, let's, let's hear these rules out first. Okay. You have three dice and I have three dice. We throw a dice at the same time. Whoever gets a higher total number wins. But if somebody gets a total that is higher than ten, he loses. You can choose to throw or hold each dice. You got it? Yeah, I guess I got it, yeah. Let's start then. Show me items that you want to wager. Alright, so we still have items. Okay, cool. Put in like two for now. Uh, I don't want to get too crazy. I want to see about this game first, right? So we'll do two. And let's see. So... Highest number, but if you go over ten, you lose. So, throw dice. Got a three. It's got a two. Uh, we're in a good position for this. As long as we don't get a six, we're good. Oh, baby! <laughs> what do I get? I ain't got an achievement, apparently. Good for you. Take your items back. Alright, so wh what do I get, though? And choose your winnings. Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, but of course, we only get a value of two from this. <laughs> so it is indeed a gamble. Mammal Anatomy. The Life of Danny the Bear. Electricity for Beginners. Ooh, that sounds very good. Yeah, if I really want to get some good stuff here, I gotta, like, you know, ante up. I'm not sure if I want to ante up. Wanna try again? No, nah, not, not this time, but maybe later. Maybe we'll give it a try later. Okay, so we got um, Gambler here. We could go out with her. I guess we'll talk to her now. Hello, ma'am. What do you want? Just a conversation. How's the zombie apocalypse treating you? Oh, just awesome. My husband was the first to go. And then my little Joey hopped away into the middle of the woods. And I haven't seen him since. And then... <laughs> oh, Joey, because she's a kangaroo. That's good. That's good. Ah, that is terrible. Oh, you don't even know the half of it. Is your kid missing? Then what's in your pouch? Hank? It's a little forward. Oh, it's fine. If I can survive my husband devoured, I can survive a little rudeness. Anyhow, I'm sure your supplies will last forever. How do you feel about some... 
Resource collecting. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, we can show you an awesome place and guide you while you pick out some items. Oh, your black-eyed friend looks like he could use some guiding. Me? Nah. The little thing is from a friendly bar fight. You should see the other guy. <laughs> Let's go with the first one. No, I'm sure. There's so many bars around. Anyhow, I need to stick around the camp in case my Joey shows up. Alright, but let me just tell you that. Stop trying to sell me your scam, rabbit. Okay, okay. Then how about... Hmm. Some trading of friendly item exchange. Well, this might be good. Let's try this one out. Sure, let me see what you got. Okay, so let's see, what do you have? You have wet, wet wipes, huh? How about that? Cop syrup, the life of Danny the Bear, and fruit, fruity dry wine. So let's see about the guild value here. This is amazing guild value, and her value for it is very cheap, so we should definitely try to pick that up. And then all I really gotta do is give you, like, something for two. Which I can give you those two cans of, you know, how about we give her the cans of coke that we got from the gamble? And that seems fair. Yep, see you around. Alright, so we're done then. Let's go on out of here to do our next scavenge. Hey. You losers ready? Uh, yes. Where are we going? Well, that's a very good question, because apparently the only thing we have going here is the essential supplies. Here we are. Toilets are us. Are you guys messing with me? Nope. That's it. Those bulls marked it as essential supplies. Who? Uh, n never mind. Surely there are plenty of useful resources here. At least good for trading. Uh, there better be. Let's start. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Move it around. I'm in front of the store. Here I go. That's a lot of toilet paper, at least. Door's locked. Uh, you remember how to use the lockpicking kid? Vaguely. I'll help you out. Alright, let's do this here again. Done. Let's see. Alright. These are actually useful. So you got... Oh. <laughs> well, she's not wrong. Now, let's be honest here. You don't think about this stuff, right? But, say you want to get your freak on in the apocalypse. You don't necessarily want to go and knock people up, do you? I mean, can you imagine bringing babies into the zombie apocalypse and you're all constantly in the run? I'm just saying. This actually is pretty useful. Um, art values 10, the guild's only 6. We'll keep that in mind. And a little something if the previous items fail. What is this gonna be? <laughs> That's good. Diapers pack. It's a good guild value on this one. And some more. Nope. Oh. Well, I mean, let's let's be honest here. Let's let's be brutally honest here. Yes, this is actually very useful, especially for ladies. I mean, if you're a guy, you don't gotta worry about this one, but uh, ladies do. Got some wet wipes. <laughs> well, let's take everything over here so far. No reason not to. Ah, uh, this is too easy. I know. I, I mean, do you really think she'll give us our percentage of the loot? Why wouldn't she? We're not doing anything for her. What would keep her from dodging us on the way out? Uh, we drove her here. Yeah, big deal. We showed her a toilet goods store. Yeah, she also thinks we're from the guild. What do you think? She'll risk getting a bad reputation with the guild? Based on her attitude? I'm not sure she completely bought this little scheme. Nah, yeah, she does have an attitude, I'll give you that. So what are you suggesting? Let's say she avoids the zombie because of our help. Then she would feel like we were valuable. And won't just walk away with all the loot. Where, where do we get a zombie? From our wild imagination. We fake a zombie? Eh, something like that. Not bad, Larry. You know, this entire time, Hank's been kind of like the scumbag. Now Larry's getting involved with the scumbaggery too, huh? Now I can see you're finally learning something from me. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. Hey, don't take away my credit like that. Jeez, chill. Uh, Crystal, we got a bit of a situation. Yeah? What is it? 
Uh, have you killed zombies before? Not yet. Well then, you better hide and get real quiet. You see a zombie? Get away from the window. Alright. Uh, so what is it? A zombie? Yeah, one headed your way. Actually, a dozen of them. I don't want to freak you out, but there's a whole horde. I think that's going to freak around and make it run out, probably, wouldn't it? Let's go with actually a dozen. I think one is in... Or do you think one? I think you would probably want to hide from one, maybe? A dozen? I mean, obviously you want to hide too, but... I don't know. I think this is way too much, though. Let's go with a dozen. A certain amount of fear, but not a freaking horde. A dozen? Yeah, yeah. Good thing we have us to warn you, huh? What should I do? I I'm gonna get eaten alive. Uh, for starters, get away from the window. You've gotta hide. Okay. Is this good? Uh, can you see outside? No. Uh, then it's good. Just stay there. Alright. <laughs> uh, are they gone? Uh, no, no. A few of them are still wandering around. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think they're gone now. You sure? Yep. Good. I'm not quite ready to be a zombie's dinner. Oh, well, it's nude, but yeah. <laughs> Anything else for looting? Uh, yeah, one more shelf. Okay, we got more wet wipes. Oh, wait, oh no, don't tell me to wait. See, the problem with me is that like I, my eyes get really big when I hear about loot, and then I risk their lives. That's what happened with the guinea pig. Oh, I don't know about this one. Dudes, there's another aisle in the corner that I completely missed. There's toilet paper. Hey, head over there. Kinda seems out of your line of sight, though. After the last zombie scare, I don't really wanna be where you can't see me. I mean, she's got a good point. We can tell from here if it's zombie free or we'll listen for zombie like sounds. <laughs> Would she really believe that if we can't if she we can't see her through the window? Yeah, I don't want to risk it. I feel like you know I've been I, my daredevil attitude is what kind of got me in trouble with the first time around. Let's be legit here. We'll listen for zombie-like sounds. Ha ha. No, no, really. There are some high-tech army walkie-talkies. If we increase the volume, we can detect anything. Ooh, good thinking, Hank. What if it's not making any sounds right now? They always make sounds. I don't know about that. You know what? I'm not going over there. Ah, oh, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We still have a chance. But the best loot might be right in that aisle. We kept you safe so far. We know what we're doing. That's true. Let's use that to our advantage here. Hmm. I guess you do. Yeah. All right, fine. Please don't run into any, any actual zombies, though. Please just grab them and run. I, I can't lose any more loot. So I can grab you guys a few one ply. And the ones with the... Bears, okay. <laughs> what, what's the what's the toilet brand with the bear commercial? You know, it's always the bears wiping their booty. Which is kind of really weird when you think about it. I mean, it's a lot of hair and fur back there. I mean, I don't think, you know, wiping bears is a really good idea when you think about the leftovers of what happens with toilet paper, you know what I'm saying? Uh, one ply. Is that really as good as you can do? Jeez, you must really pamper your ass. Let me go further down the aisle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just, just, just have her come back, dude. Oh, no! Zombie? Zombie? I, I think it's half a zombie. A, a zebra with no legs. Oh, it's still moving, though. Krista, are you making this up? What is wrong with you? What kind of deranged animal would make up a zombie? Oh. <laughs> oh, about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Only very sick ones. It's true. But listen, there can't be a zombie without legs. It would die. Unless it's just lost its legs a moment ago and didn't have time to bleed out yet. Who cares? I'm telling you, it's a freaking zombie with no legs. So what? Are we supposed to abandon all science, logic, and reason? Because it's a freaking zombie apocalypse? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Jeez. Okay, let me analyze this freaking thing. I think... I think it's just a handicapped zombie. <laughs> you mean it was handicapped before it became a zombie? Yes, probably. 
Can we move on? Well, that it could buy. Oh, okay, Krista. If it doesn't have any legs, then it can't get to you. You don't even need to go near it. Well, it's near the two-ply toilet paper. Damn it! Alright, look, 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 guys. Look. Here's the legit thing. Last time we got, again, very, very daredevil-like and we lost a person this time. I need to get some loot, man. Let's just settle for the one-ply. Can the zombie get to without legs? Probably not. Do I trust her enough to get around it by herself? No. One ply. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. That's very low value in general. <laughs> but you know, here's the thing, if I if, if she dies, I lose everything else. So I gotta have some loot, right? It'll have to do. I'm coming back. Okay. Okay. Well at least she's back. Then again, she's gotta get 70% of the loot too. Ah well, whatever. You, you did great. Here is your part of the loot. Okay, so we get 30, 31, really? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> let's go with the high guild value stuff there, right? So high guild, we're looking at 6, 8, and 14. Ooh, that's your value? Well, you you are a uh, female, so that, that would make sense. You'd probably <laughs> have a really good value for the tampons, I would say. Bandage sound really good, too. It's only 4 for you? Okay, so, oh, it's only 1? But the guild value is 6, so I'll take these two right here if you don't mind. And one, six for you, but four for the guild. Four for you, seven for the guild. We'll take these bandages too. And we're still looking at 18 more. So 10 for you. Why do you need so many condoms for? Whatever the hell you're at and where you're supposed to be again, goat. <laughs> I can understand the tampons. I can understand, well, the tampons really. And even the wet wipes, but the condoms, what are you planning to do after we're done scavenging here? So six, but 10 for you. 8 for the guild, 14 for you, and then 4 and 6, huh? Well, you know what? Let's be honest here. We should probably take some toilet paper as well. Um, we can take all that. It's only one after. We're still looking for 10 more, so we could do... Uh, we could do one <laughs> pack of condoms. Let me get the pack of condoms at least for... You know, maybe we'll need them. I mean, well, what if Hank or Larry want to get their freak on with somebody out there? Uh, I'll take those, but then, with that said, we can't take the wet wipes. I kind of want to get some wet wipes. You know what I'll do? I'll do, like, one bandage, two ply. Let me get some wet wipes. That's good. Groovy. I really hope I can exchange some of this stuff at the camp. Sure you can. See you around. Oh, wait. Uh, so where's the scavengers guild? Uh-oh. Oh, that thing. <laughs> I'll try joining after you guys tell me about, about tell them about me. Uh, the location? Yes. Um, uh, it's at... Oh my god. Sloppy Otter Brother Dex or Lucius Joe's Hotel... Hostel. Lucius Joe's Hostel. It's the Sloppy Otter Brother Dex. The Otter Brothers are running this guild? Uh, no, they died the first day of the apocalypse. Yeah, they're great. You know them? I worked one summer at the docks. Those two old greedy bastards are the worst otters I've ever met. And then you'll be relieved to know that they died the first day of the apocalypse. Now let's go with the first one. Uh, too bad, they're running the place. Crap. Is that a big problem for you? Oh, it's a problem. I'm actually losing interest in this whole deal right now. Well, alright, I'll see you around then. Bye. This is good, right? Is this good? I think that's a good thing, because now... She will lose interest in the guild, she won't suddenly show up if we ever make it to the guild, and she won't be like, hey, you guys lied to me and I'll get kicked out. Is that a good thing? I think this worked out great. There's nothing else left around here according to the map. We should hit the road and get to the other side of town. Sure, let's go. Oh, nice, another ca another part of the town. Alright, and we are saving with that, so... We're gonna wrap it up here today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is, um, Scheming Through the Zombie Apocalypse. I'm having a blast with this one, to be honest with you. Now we have some loot. And apparently there's more locations to check out, so I'm excited about this. Stick up for next episode. I will catch you next time.